And now it's time to check on Mr. Fu's test kitchen. Hey, here's something you might not know. August is National Catfish Month. So I thought it was only fitting to share with you how U.S. farm-raised catfish gets from the farm to our plates. Well, a few years ago, Mr. Food and I visited a catfish farm. We learned that it all begins in special hatchery tanks where baby fish get their start. When they get bigger, they're moved to clay ponds that are filled with fresh water that comes from underground wells. I was surprised when what I call food trucks shot pellets of grain on top of the pond and the fish swam right to the surface to eat it. That was actually pretty cool and not what I expected. Once they're full grown, they're harvested and rushed to the processing plants where they're immediately cleaned and prepped before being put on ice or deep frozen to preserve their freshness. The whole process, start to finish, takes less than a half an hour. Then the fish are off to the market for us to enjoy. One of my favorite ways to prepare this is to season it with a bit of salt and pepper and saute it with some sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, and lots of fresh spinach. Then serve each filet over sauteed spinach and drizzle them with the pan drippings for a fancy schmancy meal that is done in no time. Go ahead and go online and get the recipe for what I call bistro catfish. It's a tasty way to take advantage of the mild taste and firm texture that U.S. farm-raised catfish delivers. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where every day we're looking for a, a farm fresh way for you to say, ooh, it's so good.